Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. My heart overflows with a goodly theme as I chant my ode to the King. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. My tongue is as nimble as the pen of a skillful scribe. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Grace is poured out upon your lips, thus God has blessed you to the ages. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Gird your sword upon your thigh, mighty one. In your splendor and majesty, ride on triumphantly. O Son of God, carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Ride on triumphantly in the cause of truth and for the sake of righteousness. O Son of God, carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Your arrows are sharp, peoples are subject to you, the king's enemies lose heart. O Son of God, carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Your throne, O God, stands to the ages of ages, a tempered rod is your royal scepter. O Son of God, carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. 
You were crucified, Christ God trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Daughter, hear, see, and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. O Son of God, carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The rich among the people seek your favor. O Son of God, carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. I will make your name memorable through all generations. O Son of God, carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Rejoice, virgin birth giver of God, full of grace, from you shall the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, righteous Elder Simeon. You accepted in your arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us resurrection. In the temple, you embraced as an infant God the Word who became flesh. O glorious Elder Simeon, who held God in your arms, and also as a prophetess, the August Anna ascribed praise to him, we acclaim you as divine servants of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let Simeon the righteous, and Anna the prophetess, that godly pair be praised together, well-pleasing to God. They became steadfast witnesses of the incarnate Lord when they saw him as an infant. Together they worshipped him. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. By your birth, Christ our God, you sanctified the virgin's womb and blessed Simeon's hands. And now you have come and saved us. Grant peace in the midst of aggression to your community and strengthen the people embraced by your love, only lover of all mankind. Holy God, holy mighty, holy have mercy on us, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, 
my Savior. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The righteous shall rejoice in the Lord and shall hope in Him. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Brethren, when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, taking not the blood of goats and calves, but his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and with the ashes of a heifer, sanctifies for the purification of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Master, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Light has dawned for the righteous man, and gladness for the upright of heart. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. There was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And inspired by the Spirit, he came into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And his father and his mother marveled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and, and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years from her virginity, and as a widow till she was 84. She did not depart from the temple, worshiping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she gave thanks to God and spoke of him to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. 
The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants all the residents of the St. Pantelemon Ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, all of those afflicted with the coronavirus throughout the world, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants all the residents of the St. Pantelemon Ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, especially the handmaiden of God, Leocadia, and for the newly departed, especially Constantina, Ella, Joanne, John, Ruth, Jorge, and all those we cannot call to mind, who have fallen asleep in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. In your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life, O Christ our God. To you we send up glory with your eternal Father and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. All Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me. Enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify chant hymns, and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Haste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. Virgin birth giver of God, hope of all Christians, protect, preserve, and save all who hope in you. In the shadow and ladder of the law, let us the faithful discern a prototype. Every male child who opens the womb shall be sanctified to God. Therefore the firstborn word and son of the Father without beginning, and the firstborn child of an unwedded mother, we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Rejoice, virgin birth giver of God, full of grace. From you shall the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, righteous elder Simeon. You accepted 
in your arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us resurrection. In the temple you embraced as an infant God the Word, who became flesh. O glorious Elder Simeon, who held God in your arms, and also as a prophetess, the Augustana ascribed praise to him, we acclaim you as divine servants of Christ. Let Simeon the righteous and Anna the prophetess, that godly pair be praised together, well pleasing to God. They became witnesses of the Incarnate Word when they saw him as an infant. Together they worshipped him.